Hello, today we're going to be having a look at the insides of the Freestyle Libra flash glucose monitoring sensor. Here I've got two. Uh, one I've already opened up. They're quite hard to get open. I had to really cut it open and then pry it. Yeah, just brute force ripped it apart. So the case is completely destroyed on one of them and this is a a used but intact sensor just with the adhesive pad torn off uh, the the whole case is completely waterproof uh, the as you can see here the there's a ring that then attaches to the board, it's melted to the board in a waterproof manner uh, that goes around here and only exposes the little pad, the three pads here which then connect with when you put the inserts together these then touch against the pads to make a connection to the electrode on the board here We've got the button battery, the main power supply for this sensor, the sing single chips, and then a temperature sensor, and that just senses the temperature of the basically of the electrode or the area surrounding. It's got a little touching the plastic here and it just gives the high temperature warning or I don't know if there's a low temperature warning but yeah, there's a high temperature warning if the sensor gets too hot and it won't let you download on the board we've also got around the edge the aerial and underneath is mainly just oh, chip fell off Underneath is a bunch of test points and a few other traces and then a, I guess, a version number and everything. The chip used is a, T a TI, Texas Instruments RF430 census transponder. Uh, it's got a 14-bit ADC, basically for the measurement of the sensor, which will then measure a voltage to see what your glucose is and on a specially designed electrode. It also has a 16-bit MSP430 microcontroller to do all the thinking and, and the brains of the operation. Now I'll change over to the screen and we'll have a look at the the chip that's used. Now let's have a look at the insides of the Freestyle Libra. Uh, I've, this is a close-up of the circuit board and I've put a few annotations here that show what's connected to what on the underside of the board through these beers that connect both sides. And on this side I've got the data sheet of the main chip, the RF430. And this is what the main features of the chip are. And it can you can see here its applications are industrial wireless sensors or medical wireless sensors and medical being what, what's in use here. The package, this one, the, the package information shows it's a VU VQFN, a 4 by 4 millimeter chip, so it's quite small. And now let's have a look at the, the pinout. This is what shows what each leg on the chip does. And it shows pins 1 to 24. 
uh, and then on the next page it show it, it details what each a pin actually does. Now with a multimeter I had a look what the battery connections are connected to and it turns out as per the chip in the pinout VDDB which is described on the next page as the voltage input from the battery goes through this from the battery the positive which is the top goes into this side and then through this little trace into this pin four from the bottom and that's here the negative of the battery which is on the underside goes on the bottom of the board underneath and then to the middle pad underneath the chip and that's what says here VSS um, the antenna which is on pins 1 and 2 comes out here through two capacitors and then coils three times around the board and then terminates here comes on under back onto there and in and that's what's used to communicate with the Freestyle Libra sense um, reader this chip includes three analog to digital converters ADCs on pin 13 17 and 18 uh, on pin 18 here we can see that it is connected to the temperature sensor which is a, I guess a temperature dependent resistor that will then feed a variable voltage into this pin which can be changed into digital and read by code on the chip. Uh, the other ADC, ADC0 is connected through a resistor and it goes out into the middle pad which is one of the one of the pads that connects to the electrode that goes into your body the the second pad from the electrode goes off underneath the board to this up through this via through a resistor and then moves off to pin 16 which is TST. Um, the next page describes what each pin does and TST is supposed to be an internal connector ground pin so I'm not sure what they're doing there. It also connects through a capacitor uh, to pin 11 so possibly some sort of coupling through a capacitor possibly I'm not sure how they're reading or providing from that pin uh, the other pins on the chip are possibly used for testing or other functions because uh, there's not really that much more that goes on on the board the underside hasn't got any components As you can see here, there's only a bunch of test pads and a board version, I guess, Reve, and like some sort of other information printed on there. Another interesting thing I saw on this data sheet was the The application circuit which shows the, how the manufacturer recommends this circuit be used or at one recommendation how the circuit this chip be used in a circuit and as you can see the antenna is connected through the through a capacitor and that's what they've done here and as well as a temperature sensor on one of the analog inputs and they've in this instance, they've done it on analog 2. On the application, they've done it on analog 1. 
and they do have a recommendation on how to connect the analog sensors but what I can tell it isn't the same the freestyle or the freestyle Libra has a custom way to connect up the analog sensors and it gives it also gives a bit more information on what other pins can be used for these ones at the top here are all JTAG so I hope you found that interesting looking inside the Freestyle Libra and the circuit board next I think I'll tear down one of the, the inserters to see how that mechanism works make another video on that alright see you later